Did Bakasi ever belong to Nigeria? The position has been made clear for many years that Bakasi never belonged to Nigeria. But many people, many Nigerians never believed it. And Nigeria has gone on a huge expedition to retrieve a territory that never really was ours. So in this episode of Aquaya TV show, we are going to discuss with the renowned international expert who advised Nigeria and why the advice fell on deaf ears and probably, you know, how he feels now that uh, the whole thing has become what it is now. Nigeria has lost the territory that it never had and uh, th there is always the feeling that we ceded our territory. The guest with me on Aquaria TV show today is someone that you probably have not heard about because we have kicked history out of our educational system for a long time. But someone whom you should have heard about is Africa's number one in cross-border studies, uh, borderland studies. He's a professor emeritus of history and someone who his studies have influenced a lot uh, around uh, African borders. And I'm talking of no other than the Emeritus Professor Antoni Ijaola Ashiwadi. Welcome to Akoya TV. Studio. Thank you very much. Oh, no. yes. So, you advised us that, um, you advised the government, even though that's us as Nigerians, that Bakasi never belonged to us. What, what, what was the rationale of your advice? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I like to say, first of all, my great pleasure to be in uh, Aquaria Television. Um, this is a fantastic, very innovative initiative. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not aware of many community-based uh, television program. Certainly not of this, not on this scale. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, this this television is destined to go to places. Amen. Um, so I want to congratulate you, Thank you man. on uh, establishing it and wish and pray that it, uh, it meets uh, our dream. Amen. Amen. Not just for the Aquaria, but other communities that don't have voice yes. that uh, you have demonstrated by the reason of this establishment could be giving voice. Um, now talking about Bakasi Peninsula crisis or dispute and the arguments that have gone on uh, about it let me say this very quickly, that I am not the only one oh. that, that held the view, okay. that held the opinion that was conversed with government, that, uh, that the peninsula did not belong to Nigeria. Okay. Um, let me refer quickly to a book that was published, uh, I think in 2010, okay. posthumously, okay. Uh, authored by the renowned 
uh, international lawyer, uh, Professor uh, Anthony Oye Shukura. Oh, he's also Anthony. <laughs> yes, he's also Anthony, a great friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, the book is, is tantalizingly titled The Bakasi Peninsula. Revindication, mm -hmm. not session to Cameroon. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, this renowned lawyer who was not just an academic, but like me, very active in terms of policy promotion. We share the same view in terms of uh, cross-border relations, uh, the use of cross-border relations as cornerstone for regional integration in Africa. We hold the same view. We also hold the same view on uh, on uh, the special development focus, the imperative for special development focus on border regions in, in Nigeria mm. and then for the whole of Africa, where he and I worked specific, more specifically on Nigeria and its neighbors. Okay. Um, but it was my lot to have carried this into wider area of Africa. I've gone into this uh, introductory uh, matter about Professor Chukura because he was also incidentally one of the key, key experts on, uh, on the Nigeria legal defense team to the International Court of Justice. In the Hague. In the, at the Hague. Yeah. And uh, he, we worked on it together. Hmm. Oh, yes, we worked on it together. I was appointed to the National Boundary Commission as Commissioner of International Boundaries in 1988. And uh, he was my very good friend on the project. Hmm. Eventually, he himself also became the second commissioner in interstate boundaries. Oh, interstate. Interstate boundaries. The first was the late Professor Imobige. Um, so, again, we were in the commission together. The, 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 the thing that, that, that temporarily caused a, a pattern between me and him was the Bakasi Peninsula hmm. issue. Um, the reason why we held the view that, that seemed to have been, uh, to have, that seemed to have, to have been against Nigeria hmm. is technical, very, very technical. And in fact, in my own heart of heart, we held this opinion in the best interest of Nigeria. Why would you say it was in the best interest of Nigeria? Nigeria. Because I thought that given all the evidences that were available, first of all, the treaties, the treaties, European treaties, what? specifically German, British, okay. the UK, German treaties. Okay. Um, did not, did not I mean, put put the peninsula on the Cameroonian on the German side. Okay. And you know, the, the, the interesting thing about um, uh, African independence is that each, each, each national territory as we have them today are uh, as inherited from the colonial, the colonial authorities. Mm. I mean, we own Nigeria, for example. Mm. The, the boundary of Nigeria, the territory 
defined by the boundaries of Nigeria are inherited by Nigerians by reason of the exchange of notes of 1st of October 1960. But some people say the plebiscite that we had in the Sadauna area, yes. the local government in Tar uh, Taraba state, showed that it could be reached where people make decisions on where to belong. Now, they could before we go to that, okay. Odo, yeah. we must, I must uh, complete this argument about Bakasi, the yeah. peninsula. Yeah. So the, the treaties are not in favor of Nigeria, number one. Number two, the Nava charts were also not in favor of Nigeria. All the maps, okay. all, the, all, all the cartographic evidence that we have in the archives, in Paris, in Berlin, mm. in UK, they are all, they are all emphatically Cameroonian in terms of, of uh, where, Location. where Bakasi is located. The river that sounds like the name of your of your studio, mm. the Aquayafe River, okay. became the boundary in 1913, the Anglo-German boundary uh, treaty of 1913 was what finally there are, there are a series of treaties, mm. but the 1913 was the last and was the final that accepted both, both sides, Britain and Germany, that, that accepted the river Akwayafe mm. as the boundary between Nigeria and German Cameroon. That river is the, is the, is the side of, of, the, of, the, of the water from the Atlantic Ocean into which this river flows that is immediately on site as to cross over from Calabar mm. towards the, uh, the water that divides us from Cameroon. Mm. Now, that river pulls the Kasi Peninsula completely on the German side mm. since 1913. So, um, you talk about treaties, you talk about navachas, you talk about maps, you talk about all forms of cartographic uh, uh, evidence, the, 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 the position of Bakasi is on, was on the German side. So, there were arguments and arguments about the validity of these treaties and so on and so forth, but the treaties are the treaties. So that is why, I mean, seeing that, I knew that as, 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 a, as an historian. But in my duty as a Commissioner International Boundaries of Nigeria's National Boundary Commission, we were commissioned. We were commissioned in 1989, 1990, to go on specific research of documents. And I headed the, the working team, but in the working team are very, very renowned international lawyers. The late Ayo Ajomo, my colleague in Faculty of Law, University of Lagos, was in it. Shukura was in it. And then there was a, a Dr. Yagba, ABU at that time. Mm -hmm. he, he, he died later. He was in it. These are lawyers that Nigeria could, could, could be proud of at any time. Mm -hmm. Then there are surveyors. Um, uh, Shiv Lala, who was of the Federal, Federal Department of Service. It was in it. In addition to certain experienced Nigerians in Cameroonian legal matters, there was the, 
the elderly man called Keshiro, who was a magistrate in southern Cameroon. Oh. He was in that commission with us. He was a Nigerian? Oh, yes, Nigerian. And, and myself, Lala, Chukura, we went to Paris, we went to London, Southampton, we went to Berlin, we went and we saw and we collected data. We came back home, we worked in National, by National Archives in Ibadan. National Archives in Ugu, National Archives in Calabar. Then we went on, on field work, collecting oral data from our people, and we did a report. Indeed, the report of that group was the first business of the federal military government when the, when the, uh, the council chamber each time I saw it on television, I felt <laughs> some, some measure of nostalgia that we were the first to use this chamber. <laughs> and General Mangida was in the chair and we presented his report and argued that on, because, because the evidences are not in our favor. Remember, this was 1990. Yes. <laughs> Uh, because the, the, the evidences are not in our favor, we should take the initiative and go to the Hague. Okay. And go to the Hague, but we will not seek litigation because litigation is not going to favor our recommendation based on the advice of the technical men, the lawyers in our midst, was that Nigeria should choose arbitration. But if we, if we if we succeeded in going to the Hague before Cameroon, we will have the 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 first shot. Mm. And since we will we'll be going there to ask for arbitration, mm. they cannot come and say it is litigation that we want. Yeah. The trouble was already on, mm. but we thought that uh, on the basis of the report that Nigeria should go to the Hague and be empty Cameroon and and choose the path of arbitration. Oh, it was. The report was very well received. Very, very well received. And the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice at the time was no other than uh, Prince Bola Ajibola. And uh, President Babangida even joked with him. He said he asked him to give an opinion on the report. And before he said, he said, look, Bola, I don't want your love on this hand and on that hand. <laughs> I want you. <laughs> but to put it, to take joke out of it, the, re the report was very well received. And, and, this, so, and your advice was because Nigerians were the ones occupying Bakasi, isn't it? No. No, I mean, no, why were you seeking you see, arbitration? You, if, if arbitration was, because, you see, in arbitration, uh, there is there is room for negotiation. Mm. There is room for uh, discussion. Mm. In uh, litigation, is straight law. So, um, and since our interest in the Pakasi Peninsula is that our people mm -hmm. are there, yes. the Ibibio, mm. particularly, there are uh, there are also ethnic presences. But the Bibu are dominant in the Bakasi Peninsula. So, because they are there, Nigeria's, Nigeria's interest was, was primarily, in terms of argument, our people. Mm. But there, you, you also know that Bakasi Peninsula is, uh, is the entrance to our economic underbelly mm. in the Gulf of Guinea. Mm. <laughs> so, um, and we thought that if we went by arbitration, we can discuss. We know that the, 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 the peninsula, yeah. in terms of technical argument, <laughs> belongs to, to Cameroon. Yeah. But we, 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 can, we can enjoy discussion, yeah. uh, uh, negotiation, give and take yeah. in arbitration procedure. But we've administered the place 
isn't because I, the other argument was that people say Nigeria has been the one having administrative authority over the place all this while. To so say Ni uh, Cameroon mm. was a German was, was a German colony, mm. and then you also know That's that Southern Cameroon. Southern Cameroon, no, the whole of the whole of Cameroon. Okay, the whole of Cameroon before it became Southern Cameroon, Northern Cameroon. The whole of Cameroon was German. Okay. By the 1913 date that we are talking about, the critical date of 1913, mm. it was a German territory. Mm. Okay. But um, you remember also that shortly after 1913, 1914, we entered into the first, first World War, mm. which was German against the others. Mm. The Germans heading the Axis power and Britain, France, uh, uh, in the in the in the Western power. Okay. So in the course of that war, Germany lost to the other to the Allied yeah, powers. Yeah, yes. To Allied powers. And as a result of that, as a result of the end, the outcome of the First World War in Europe, Germany lost all its colonies. Yeah. It's not just Cameroon, Togo, uh, uh, Namibia, Namibia uh, Burundi, uh, Rwanda. They lost. So. Because they lost, the victorious powers, the allied powers, took over their territory. Mm -hmm. So in the case of Cameroon, in the case of Cameroon, the, the sharing was between Britain and France. France. France took the eastern half, which is today yeah. French Cameroon. Yeah. And Nigeria, I mean, yeah. Brit the British took the the western the western, uh, the western part which they administered in two segments so, southern cameroon northern cameroon that's it was at that point that the issue of the the connotation the concept of southern and northern cameroon it applies to the british side the british portion mm. of the dispossessed german territory right. yes so, in administering the southern, just as in administering the north, in administering the north, the northern Cameroon, it remains, you see, I, I must also quickly make this point. Although they shared the German territories among themselves, the Allied powers, in the case of, of uh, Cameroon, as I said earlier, uh, the the Western Cameroon was taken over by the, uh, the British. By the British, the Eastern by the by the by the French. So, as a result of the of the outcome of the First World War, Cameroon suffered a second partition. This time between the Allied powers, but even those the the areas that fell into the hands of allied powers was not to be administered as a, as regular as their regular yeah. colony mm. the outcome one outcome of the first world war was the creation of the league of nations okay. the league of nations was the oversight power the oversight authority on these Territory. territories so the the, the the british cameroon south North was administered by Britain under the edges, overall edges, international edges of the League of Nations. But you are free to administer the area allotted to you as you think fit. So in the south, southern Cameroon was administered as part okay. of eastern Cameroon, of eastern Nigeria, yes. eastern eastern region. Northern Cameroon was administered. Part of Northern, Northern Nigeria. 
but each on each, the, the overall authority was the League of Nations. Whatever the British did, whatever the French did on their own side, was under the over overarching supervision of the League of Nations. The Second World War came in 1939-1945. Again, German, Italy, the uh, which, or, which other now as Axis powers, yeah. the same Axis powers again against the Allied the, powers. The Japanese were part of the, <laughs> the, okay. the Axis. So the the then Britain, France again the, now. Uh, US, U.S. intervening, German lost. Hitler's Germany lost again. So that confirmed the the taking over of the German territories that are taking that are taking place in 1919-1920. Okay. So that was the situation until post World War. Independent movement, Nigeria became independent in 1960, uh, Cameroon also in 19, I think in 1960, okay, and, and uh, at that point, the, 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 the German, the French, the French side of Cameroon mm. was retained as an integral unit. So, the French granted its independence. We were also granted independence mm -hmm. in 1960. But there remains what mm -hmm. happens to well, the well, South down Cameroon, Northern Cameroon in Nigeria. Owned by the League of Nations. Owned by the League of Nations. That was what brought about the plebiscite that you were talking earlier. Yes. And uh, Nigeria was administering the Southern Cameroon. They were administering uh, uh, Bakasi Peninsula. All of these were happening in the context of these areas being administered as special areas. So the British administration that was was exercising its authority and influence in Southern Cameroon was doing so as a result of the mandate of the League of Nations, renewed by the United Nations Organization when it came into, into being in 1947 or so. Okay? So, that was it. it if, when you say that, but we were administering the place. Yes, you were administering the place under a certain condition. That condition was reversed as a result of the plebiscite that was carried out in 1960. Okay, so that plebiscite... So, so that plebiscite, there are, there are two segments. Uh -huh. Two segments. The southern plebiscite in, uh, in, in the northern Cameroon, in northern Cameroon, mm -hmm. part of uh, northern, northern region, mm -hmm. was separate from the plebiscite of southern Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Whereas then, the, in southern Cameroon, the campaign was won by those who, who, who campaigned for southern Cameroon to join. Because the, the question at the plebiscite, both in the north and the south, is there are two independent nations now, Nigeria and French Cameroon, which was called... Republic of Cameroon, mm. Fran Franco Francophone. Which one do you want to join? Do you want to join Nigeria? Yes or no? Wow. Thank you very much for this enlightening session. Um, we really want to have you again on Aquaria TV. And this is why Aquaria TV focuses on history, culture, art, and development. Yes. Because for us, we say, if we don't look into the past, yes. how do we chart a proper future? Exactly. And we are very glad that you are volunteering to give us this in-depth um, 
uh, travel into mm -hmm. the history of our relationship between uh, the, the relationship, relationship between Nigeria and the Cameroon, especially as relates to uh, Bakasi and the other borders. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. Yes. And for those of you watching, and for those of you watching, I encourage you to keep uh, subscribing, sharing our uh, videos. Invite your friends. Let them subscribe to Aquaya TV. Our channel is uh, at Aquaya TV on YouTube. It's also at Aquaya TV on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, do follow us. Our website is up www.aquayatv.com. Please just feel free to share whatever.